splines are used to create more complex curves. So, for example, in this guitar body, I have a fairly complex shape here. So this outer shape of my body here was created by using a spline. I can tell it's not just simple arcs or lines or circles that created this more complicated shape. So how this body was created was from a sketch similar to this where I have a, a fairly complex sketch given right here. And this is what we call a spline. So let's take a look at how we can create a spline similar to this. So to start my spline, I would start it just like a regular line. So I'll touch down my pencil and sketch out a line here. But as I'm holding down my pencil, I'm going to press down on the screen. And I'm going to continue to hold down my pencil here. And that has just created my first control point. And again, I can tap down and that has added an additional control point. Still holding down my pencil. Tap down once more and again. And maybe I'll tap down once more and one final time. And finish off something like this. So now we can see I almost have the general shape of that guitar body spline that I created. And so what we have here is a number of control points that I can tap on and move around to help control my spline. You can see as we move that point, my spline is controlled by these control points. So here we have the ability to fine tune and create some pretty complex shapes as we can see. Notice here that you also have the ability to grab multiple points and control multiple points at once. So I can maybe grab these two control points here and again just click and drag and you see now I'm controlling multiple control points all at once. And I can fine tune this as required until I'm happy with my spline shape. One other important note regarding splines is that you can also create a fully closed spline and control this to create some very unique shapes as well. So again I'm just going to draw out a spline here. And I'm just tapping down on the screen to add my control points. And then notice if I want to close out this spline, I can just connect it back to where I started. And that has created a closed spline here. So you can see it's coming in that light blue color. So it's a fully closed sketch. And again, I have a whole number of control points here that I can use to create some pretty unique shapes. In the next few lessons, we'll learn how to edit and complete our sketches.